Quarterman. Would please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Howdy, John Waterman. Mailing address is uh, 3338 Country Club Road, number L336, Valdosta, Georgia, 31605. And I live at 6565 Quarterman Road, Hayhara, which used to be a Ray City address way back when. Uh, I'm here today on behalf of Walls Watershed Coalition. We're starting a water quality monitoring program. Uh, you've probably seen what happens downstream whenever there's a spill on the Withacoochee River or the Alapaha. People get quite upset for good reason. And, um, you know, they always think it's Valdosta that did it. And while, I mean, you guys may be happy with that, it's actually not always Valdosta. For example, Tifton spilled the most during Hurricane Irma. And Quitman also spilled. And I hate to say it, Lowndes County did as well, although not so much during Irma. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Steve Stalvey and Sabrina Denson for sending the recent uh, spill records for the county. Um, and the next thing I'll be asking for, not just from the county, but from all the likely suspects, is the water quality testing data that's required by the state as part of the NPDES permits after each spill. Uh, now you may think, why can't I just get this from the state? I ask that question of the state frequently. In both Florida and Alabama, if you want to know who spilled, you can sign up for an email alert. As soon as they get a spill report, they post it online and send out an email so you know that day. Georgia does not do that. Now, you may think, as I do, if Alabama can do it, why can't Georgia? And, yes, I've said that to EBD frequently, and they say, we're working on it. It's going to be real soon. They told me that last year. But this time they claim they're really getting close. But meanwhile, I have to go around to each of the likely places. Um, so, uh, oh, if you would like to join us in water quality testing, Sunday at 1 p.m. down at the SJRC, where Jason used to work before he came to work for you, and where at least one of you remembers that there used to be meetings of this very commission uh, next door at the SGRC. We're having a water quality testing session at 1 p.m. It's only six hours, no problem. So, um, and we do a lot of paddles. And we keep trying to get some of you to join us tonight at 7 p.m. on Banks Lake. You cannot get smoother water. You cannot get an easier paddle. You just sort of mosey out, mosey back. If you'd like to join us, I will personally bring you a boat and a paddle. Let me know before we leave the room here. Um, and we're also doing a paddle on the Alapaha River. Apparently, um, we've had to move it downstream. We were going to start way upstream, but the water's low. Um, Y'all may be familiar with that related to the boat ramp. The water's low, so we're probably going to start at Naylor at the site of the boat ramp and paddle down to May Day so everybody can see the good work you all have already done down at the boat ramp site. You're welcome to join us on that. And on the Width of Coochie River, we're starting something called the Walls Boomerang, which is put in at Langdale Park, paddle down to, turns out, the county owns public access right next to the Y, to the Width of Coochie River, verified by engineering department. And uh, then back up to um, Langdale Park. That's going to be on the 3rd of November. We expect a lot of people to be racing, but a lot of people to just be paddling. And an even bigger item is a thing called Paddle Georgia. It's uh, organized by Georgia River Network. Every year they get about 300 of their closest friends to paddle on a river for a week. And for 2019, starting, I believe, the 14th of June, 2019, they're going to start at Troopville boat ramp on the Little River, go down our Withacoochee River to the Samani, turn right, and continue to make up a week. So that should be really good publicity for the Withacoochee River, for Walls, of course, for the county, for everybody. I mean, there's, I don't really see any downside to that, so I thought you all might want to know about it. And thanks again to Steve Stalvey for that data, and uh, I look forward to the rest of it. Thank you. Okay.